Welcome back, everyone. Astronaut Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore are now one step closer to coming back home from the International Space Station. Three, two, one, ignition, ignition full power, and lift off of Crew 9. Go SpaceX, go Falcon, go NASA. Lift off of Crew 9 now soaring to the International Space Station. This is always so cool to watch. SpaceX successfully launching a rocket from Cape Canaveral Saturday with half of its normal crew because that craft will be the way home for Williams and Wilmore come February. News Nation's Kelly Beeson is live from our Chicago headquarters with more on this important launch. Kelly, good to see you. Good morning. Finally, good news when it comes to the Starliner saga. You know, you can say that twice, Hannah. You're absolutely <laughs> right. You know, this was supposed to be just eight weeks in space for these two, and now it is said to be eight months. So you'll remember Williams and Wilmore, they went to the ISS. This was back in June on the Boeing Starliner, and it was really nothing but issues for weeks. So helium leaks, thruster malfunctions, all of it forcing this Starliner to return to Earth this month without a crew after both Boeing and NASA said they could not guarantee their safety. So yesterday, SpaceX launched. This is serving as a rescue mission of sorts. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft will have two astronauts on board instead of a typical four-person crew. And this is to make room, of course, for Will Moore and Williams. Uh, this is not going to be a quick return for the Dragon because those astronauts who are coming to the ISS Henna, they do have some assigned tasks there. And that that means uh, that Wilmore and Williams, they won't be able to hitch a ride back to Earth until February of next year. And, you know, what's interesting is typically these astronauts who are all on board the same spacecraft, they train together. Uh, that, of course, won't be the case either in February. They won't even meet for the very first time until this spacecraft docks with the ISS. And that is set to happen this evening. So what happened to that crew that was supposed to be heading to space? Because you mentioned there are two people in there, not four. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Hannah. And that's a great question. Those astronauts, they'll be staying behind, uh, simply put. So Zena Cardman, Stephanie Wilson, they trained for a year and a half, only to be told recently that they weren't going. So Cardman talked about her emotions as she watched the dragon take off without her. Uh, this was yesterday. I think it was hard not to watch that rocket lift off without thinking, that's my rocket and that's my crew. But I also know that I'm not the only person who can think that. Of course, we have Stephanie Wilson here today, but I mean, there are many, many people who made this mission happen, and there are people on orbit who will be taking this capsule home. And it makes me very proud to know that I am one of many people who can say, that's my crew, that's my rocket. Makes me really proud, makes me feel very connected to this mission that we all get to take part of. Yeah, so being a great sport for sure. Uh, Cardman, she was supposed to serve as the commander of this mission, but instead she was again watching it from the ground. Now the good news, the plan is to find slots for both Cardman and Wilson uh, to fly in the future, Hannah. I have no doubt they will be going into space. Kelly Beeson live in Chicago for us this morning. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.